Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly reading for week commencing 12th of November 2018 for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. I hope you are Leo. Here are the cards. We have the Five of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Lovers, the Sun, the Star, the King of Wands. And I've also pulled two Archangel Oracle cards for further clarification. So Leo, let's start with the Eight of Swords and the Five of Swords. So I just feel that this um, this energy is about a hard-won victory, but it asks if it's worth it. You see the people in the background, they're despondent to this person, um, they're walking away, they're not happy, they're beaten, but was it worth actually losing things like this? So if you're in a situation of um, arguments, um, petty arguments, things that, you know, you. You have to judge whether it's worth it or not to actually keep in that situation, Leo, um, because this card is basically saying, certainly being next to the um, Eight of Swords, it probably isn't worth spending your energy and time on this, especially with the sun being below this card, because there's so much, so many more positive things that are on offer to you. So I think it's a case of just move past this situation, move forward. And maybe it's a situation that you don't feel that you can move away from. So maybe you're caught in this period of instability, negativity, could be negative people towards you. And even though you can win the argument, win the situation, um, win the point, if you like, is it really worth the effort? And I don't think it's worth the effort to you, um, certainly for some of you. Um, yeah, there's so much more to offer, I think, with the rest of the cards. There's some really positive cards in this deck. So this basically says, you know, judge the situation for what it is. Do you need to spend your energy on this? Is it worth keeping in this situation because it's keeping you stuck? It's keeping you from seeing your potential. It's keeping you from seeing your path. The swords are about truth and clarity. You know the truth of the situation, but for some reason you're not willing to see it. You see this person with a blindfold on, and they've got their hands tied, but it's very loose shackles, so they could quite easily unbind themselves and reveal the blindfold from the situation, but they choose not to. And it's, it can be a state of mind, it can be a state of confusion, it can be a, stage, a state of... Um, trying to manifest your reality, trying to move forward and not being able to, probably because you might be going about it the wrong way in certain respects, or the fact that other people have been negative towards you and you're just pulled into this argumentative situation or this negative situation that really doesn't serve you because it's keeping you stuck. Um, so the whole point of this is to release from this release from this negative negative people, negative mindsets, people who might be provoking you, people who want to bring you down. Uh, Leo, don't let people bring you down in this situation because you won't come off better in the end. As I say, you may well be able to win an argument or a situation or a point, um, but other people might not see it as a positive win. So just be really careful and see the truth of the situation for what it is. And... As I say, once you're released from the situation, um, there's real potential. Now, the lovers, it might well be that there is somebody in your life. It can be um, on a marriage, a partnership, and it talks about um, a soulmate union. This can be a soulmate union that is really helping you overcome obstacles. This card says there is no obstacle that you can't overcome. In the Rider Waite tarot deck, um, the two love lovers are either side of the card, and in the centre there's a big mountain. And it talks about the power of this union, the power of this union um, being able to overcome obstacles. And I just think that this is a period of obstacles. So you have this energy within you to overcome obstacles. And maybe you're helped by somebody in your personal life, friendships, people who are really um, close to you. And uh, this is a, probably a real, um, you know, a, a close card. It can talk about um, moving on and um, finding love finding um, new potential after moving away from negative situations. And bear in mind, this can be in the workplace, this can be in the home life, this can be in relationships, this can be in friendships, um, acquaintances at work. Um, so this is moving on to happiness and positivity after a period of negativity. 
um, and it's blessed, it's divinely guided. You see how the heavens rain down um, positive energy and blessings on the lovers. Um, so this can also be about making a choice. Um, and it's divinely blessed, whichever way this works for you, whether it's a union, somebody helping you move through a difficult situation, or whether it's um, you know, a blessing on making the right choice for you. Um, this is about a major choice. It could be a major decision, a turning point in your life. Uh, but once you make this decision, it could be to, to go for a new job, a new business adventure, business venture, um, new relationship, um, new love, new friendships, and so on and so forth. Whatever this decision is, it bodes really well for you, Leo. This is the Sun card. Um, this is such a positive card for you, Leo. This means that, you know, the sun's shining on you. Um, it talks about abundance. It talks about happy um, happiness, real fulfillment, contentment, prosperity. Maybe after a time of, of feeling um, unstable, this brings in a real stability. This is all about stability um, and celebration. Um, so maybe the choice that you make leads to some kind of celebration and victory in your own right. Um, so yeah, real abundance and happiness in this card. It's also about good luck, um, Leo. Good luck, good news. Uh, so where maybe you felt that you were down on your luck in this situation and you take actions to move forward, this talks about good luck and it's a universal luck. It's a divine energy that's behind you. And similar with the, the star card, this is about guidance, but it's also about finding your purpose again. This is about really finding your purpose in life, and this is true to you. This is finding your true self. This is finding your true path. And where there might have been confusion here, there's a real clarity with the star energy because it's a guidance card. It's also a card of healing, maybe after a time of upset. You're feeling stronger and stronger. You're feeling renewed. This is a card of renewal. This is a card of renewed faith in yourself. This is a card of getting your energy back, getting your zest for life back. Um, and yeah, and the star card is about finding your true self, having a sense of yourself, having a true sense of what you're worth um, and, and seeing that. And from that comes wish fulfillment because you believe in yourself again. Where other people maybe have, have tried to bring you down, Leo, you're, you're getting a sense of purpose again, a sense of your own capability. And yeah, I just love the fact that this is, you know, this, this person in this... Um, the card energy is filled and um, they're, they're emotionally stable, they're physically stable, they're, they're success and it represents a, a success from within. Um, and I think this is about, you know, the strength from within you and um, finding the energy, that creativity, looking on the brighter side of things of life, releasing old negative patterns um, to move forward with real purpose. And once you have that purpose, you can achieve anything. This is uh, your card. This is a fire card, Leo. Um, this is the one's energy. This is what you're about. This is about achievement. This is about success. This is about victory. This is about um, shaping your life that's true to you. This is about finding your path in life that's true to you. Uh, finding your um, purpose in life that's true to you, whether that's in business or personal life. Um, it's all about taking action and making decisive decisions. And that's what these two cards are saying. They're saying you need to take action. You need to take action on this situation to achieve this. So it's a beautiful reading, Leo, really, really positive for the future. But it starts by making decisions this week. So the first Archangel Oracle card is Divine Order, Archangel Ragel. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. So it's Divine Order, Archangel Ragel. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. And there's real hidden blessings for you. There's real hidden blessings for you this week. And I just think that the, the universe, certainly with this energy, with this energy, and this energy, you're really being guided to make choices, make decisions, be more positive, 
allow good luck to come into your life by changing that negative mindset to a positive mindset, releasing negative situations that don't serve you anymore and becoming who you're meant to be, becoming, you know, achieving again and finding your sense of self. And the next Archangel card is Prosperity, Archangel Ariel. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. So Prosperity, Archangel Ariel. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. And this is your dreams into reality. This is the card of dreams into reality. Um, and yeah, as I say, there's prosperity here, there's abundance, there's happiness on offer, there's real achievement and success. And it might well be somebody is helping you through this situation. Um, but whatever, this is a really positive reading, Leo. Just try and take action to move past and let go of negative situations that don't serve you. As, as I say, some people will, will definitely be trying to bring you down as well. So don't let them because you'll come off worse for it. And the whole point is that you focus back on you, on your capability, your achievements, and you can move forward with positivity. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Leo. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great week. And just to let you know, the monthly readings are out for December. So if you haven't checked those out, do check them out. And I will see you next time. Thank you.